Welcome everybody, NFT Parent here. What is going on? Welcome for another NFT show. So we've got some headline news we'll go over first and then some new projects. Uh, we've got the NFL's attaching uh, NFTs to tickets and the Lions Thanksgiving game is on the list. So the first time they did this, I believe was November 7th for the Cardinals 49ers game. And now they're doing it for Thanksgiving. So it looks like uh, what you're gonna do is you will get the NFT will be attached to the ticket. And after the game, you will go to Ticketmaster's marketplace and they'll have NFTs. So I figured I had talked about this with some, some friends that I figured this was coming more often. You know, you're going to start seeing a lot more sports attach NFTs and the more special the game is like Super Bowl, there might be, you know, special NFT, special packs to open. So this will probably, this will be another way that the, you know, mass people, more masses will start seeing NFTs used as for stuff like tickets and reservations and stuff like that. So I think this is kind of cool that the NFL is doing this. I'm sure you'll see Major League Baseball and NBA probably follow suit soon enough. So uh, that's definitely something interesting. And then you've got uh, goodbye to the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Now you've got the Crypto.com Arena. So they signed a 20-year deal for set for a little more than $700 million naming rights. That's one of the biggest naming deals in history. So it says uh, December 25th, when the Lakers host the Nets at the Staples Center, they will debut the new logo. So that's going to be another thing that's going to definitely make people find out more about crypto and have people looking into it when they see some of the most popular teams playing in a crypto.com center. That definitely means, you know, we're still early, but it may not be early much longer. More people are going to be coming in. So get into the space while you can. All right. The first one we're going to look over is Smilesverse. So this one was one that was, I don't own any of these. This one was recommended that I look at by some followers. So I was happy to check it out and I did, I had known about it already, but I didn't really dive into it. So it, it's 8,888 uh, generative full body 3D characters, hand designed by the artist. And it's more than just art, it's your ticket to the smile verse, uh, focus on culture, hip hop, fashion, and smile. So you see the guy's happy. This is one of those, I have people reach out a lot asking, you know, what do I need to do for my project to get people to come in? And a lot of them are all about drops and giving back ETH and, you know, running giveaways, which is all great. And that does work. And this one does a little bit of that also. But this is one of those that I say, the art is what brings people in. If they see the art, that's what makes them want to dive deeper into your project. You know, even if you have something great going on behind the scenes, the art is what brings them in first. And I really think the art on these is awesome. So this 3D, I mean, it just looks so crisp and clean. I like the, the Nike shoes. I like the skateboard with the New York skyline on it. So, I mean, this is one of those, it says they don't believe in a standard road Mac. They're not going to promise video games, ETH giveaways, or floor vibes. They just want to continue to innovate and deliver utility and most authentic art to hit the megaverse. So again, even though you see here they are donating to charity, which is awesome, and they do in their act two have airdrops, which all of them usually do. But the first thing is they're not promising a ton of stuff down the road yet. They're just saying we made good art, come for that, and then we'll go from there. So I do like that. I mean, very quality art. And this one is already on OpenSea up to like 0.75. So it's not a cheap one now. So it's went up fast. They were only 0.1 to um, mint, and that's already done. So they have 8,888 already minted. But you see here about the, you donated to charity, 10% of sales, airdrops in Act 2. Then Act 3, they talk about additional characters, community-led initiatives, and much more. So they could end up doing a game or something like that later on, but they're going to let the community help decide. But they want you to come for what they built as far as art goes. They've got the crew down here. Talks about the artists. They have a large crew of people that are, you know, definitely have been in the space. Some of them have definitely had some experience from when I did my research here. But, you know, they can, they have unique traits by people, places, emotions, is encountered along his historic journey of the, of the artist. You may not find him running around the metaverse or minting his own currency anytime soon, but you will find him passionately creating beautiful works, which I believe that. So definitely check out the smiles here. That's S-M-I-L-E-S-S-S dot com and check out these. They just came out at the end of October, but they're selling well, really popular, and I can see why. All right, something different here. This one I really like. Something totally different first paint company in the metaverse. So most people were like, what's that mean? You know? So he says, define yourself through colors, collect and apply color therapies to on-chain items. So I like down here how they're like, you know, get ready for the, you know, there's gaming coming out and it says you can customize your NFT with colors. It says, just imagine pink armor, tor tor 
turquoise car or gold spaceship blasting through the metaverse. So that's cool that, you know, they're going to offer you option to be able to change colors of different things in your game. So there's going to be 10,000 of them, and they're going to be represented as hex codes. They're going to be available on the mutable X in order to eliminate gas fees when buying the tokens, and they're going to be just 0 0.02 affordable pricing, below 100 USD for everyone to enjoy. They're going to have over 10,000 colors, and you can see how, you know, they show the NFTs with the name of the color and the number and everything. And what's cool is they've got the color blender. So you can blend two colors from their main connect collection to make your own color, which I think is really cool. So it shows here, you know, you pick white, pick blue de France, and then you come out with an arrow color. It says collect several colors. For diehard fans, you can collect palettes, predefined palettes, and win NFTs, ETH prizes, and real-world items in your efforts. So it says, you know, some hex codes will be um, rarity types, like this one's going to be badass, cooled, coffee, diesel. So they got some cool stuff going on the the pre-sale is the 17th of November, so definitely get on that. They've got the roadmap here. Um, so it says 17th, token minting event. Then color palettes, smart contract on the uh, in December. December, they're also going to do a tent airdrop for NFT holders. And then you look at the color blender smart contract in January. Then it goes up to quarter one of next year partnerships. So, you know, they're talking about they're going to have some drops. They've got some rare stuff, but I just thought this is really neat, all these different colors and that you'll be able to add them into like the color of, you know, your character you're using maybe in the sandbox or Decentraland or something. So I think this is a very neat project. Check out colortherapies.rehab. I haven't seen the dot rehab yet, so that's interesting. But they've got their gallery here, got the blend and mint. They explain everything. You can get on their social media. De this is another one of those. Definitely get on their Discord because there's probably going to be questions you're going to have that may not be able to be answered by this video or just the website. So definitely get get in all these. Get on Discords to find details and ask more detailed questions. So definitely check out the uh, Color Therapies, the cut first paint company in the metaverse. I think that's really cool. We've got dwarfs. So we've got the... Uh, Wharf Alt World with Dwarf. So uh, right now, Dwarf holders, they say hit the jackpot. The first thing they're advertising, 50% of sales of 50 tokens. So 1.62 ETH, about $8,000 at the current exchange rate. For every 50 minted, they're awarding ETH out. So, I mean, that's some good money. So just for minting these, you can win thousands of dollars. So step one, mint. You know, they're on Ethereum. Each token gives you the opportunity to receive one Dwarf Girl token for free. So you want to have that token in your wallet for the dwarf girl. It shows the sale prices. They're starting out. You know, they've uh, minted so far 826. They're minting as we speak. So get on there definitely and get these. Just 2,000 that they're minting of these. Uh, uh, and they have 826 already minted. So uh, up to 1,000, 0 0.06. Then it goes up 0 0.065. And finally, the last 99 are 0.120. So it says your greedy alter ego that was born the moment the first Bitcoin block had been minted. Dwarfs evolved through the crypto of Satoshi Age, Ethereum, ICOs, and DeFi. Finally, they found a way to reveal themselves by injecting their additive and greedy souls into NFTs. So the collection of 2000 was created. Then they've got the dwarf girls, which there's only a thousand of those. You can get those for 0 0.027 ETH. But if you own a dwarf that I showed you first, then these are free. So it shows how those go up in price if you don't want, but if you, you know, if you have one, you can put mint for free. Here's the girls. I, I really, I need to focus a little bit more on the art for you. Like they've got an Elon one. They have one that looks like Mike Tyson. So I thought it's really cool. They've got some that are more like an ape, uh, some holding guns, hatchets, all kinds of stuff. So the art was really cool. That's usually what draws me in first. And then you got the girls here that are cool too. They got some with like Medusa hair and spikes and all kinds of stuff. So it talks about the quantity for dwarf girls. 6,666, uh, either, you know, eventually the reveal date they have that, you know, those already the breeding dwarf child token. So this is dwarf teens poker club. These gambling guys were born from crypto dwarfs and crypto girls. So inheriting their father's greed and their mother's addiction to games, they created a gambling club where only a select few could enter. Children stole their parents' money trying to license their budget in our poker club. So it talks about, uh, NFT in real life street. They show some street video. They have how the token works. You know, they talk about the burning, the social media drop. So they, they break down to how they're going to use all the percentages of it. And then you've got the unique projects for the DAW token, you know, the dwarf gold. Uh, and it explains that definitely check out dwarfs.digital because there, there's a lot of information to take on here. But then the roadmap talks about, you know, the pre-sale of these. 
and then 25% sold stacking system development, then breeding development with 50%, and then get ready for an airdrop. It says each dwarf holding will receive 100 tokens when they get 100% drop. So help get this to 100%. They've got the, the dwarf girls, the breeding, the stacking. Merchandise is phase, phase 7, which they have some pictures of that. And then you've got the poker club development as Phase 8. So they've got the merch here. They've got some really neat looking merch. So definitely, you know, when this comes out, they've got belts and all kinds of leather stuff. They've got the lure behind it. Got the team down here. So this is really cool. Very detailed. Very, you know, community. They just, they want to start early. They, you know, they've been out for a little while trying to get people in the Discord, but it's just minting right now. So definitely check out dwarfs.digital and get yourself a dwarf and try to win this possible $8,000 at the current exchange rate of, of ETH that they're giving away every 50 minted tokens. So check those out. Check out their website and their Discord. Last one for the day, another Cardano blockchain one. They are the Cardano robots. It says, welcome Cardano friends. It's a collectible art project. Um, minted negative token on the, the blockchain. Cardano robots feature 2,590 unique pieces. So not very many. I thought the art was cool on these robot cards. Largest edition, these are they're friendly, they have lots of friends and activities. This is the smallest edition of Carbono, Cardano robots. They are rich and influential robots that are current small quantities. They are characterized by gold necklaces, a cigar, a crown, and a bag full of Cardano coins. So the countdown, they still have three days for this, but they're excited to get the word out. So they I, I kind of contacted them and then they wrote right back and they're like, Yeah, we're very interested to get on there. So I mean they've already been verified on these different, you know, they're listed on these. They've been verified by these here. Um, join the community. They've got the Discord. Check out their Twitter. But I think the robots are cool. Cardano is very, you're just going to see me put a lot more on here. I mean, people are just trying to get away from this gas that Ethereum has. So you're seeing Poly, you're seeing Cardano, you're seeing Solana. And a lot of these are all going to have, you know, OpenSea still kind of the number one place to buy stuff. But Solana and Cardano are going to, they're going to get there and it's coming, coming quickly. So definitely don't, don't let this turn you off. It's easy to make wallets for Solana and Cardano. And if you need help, reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you any way I can and let you know the ones that I use. But definitely check out these Cardano robots. I mean, they've got the different rarities here. It shows, you know, the gold, silver, bronze. Uh, they've got the, the roadmap. I like how some people are like, well, why do we need to know when initial marketing and artwork starts? Well, I think it's the more you can be transparent, the better for these projects. So, I mean, they talk about feedback, final evaluation. The pricing of these is 50 ADA. Then you've got, you know, they, they have, you know, when the policy was locked on and their number. So they, they don't seem to be hiding anything. 30th of November, 12 days is when they, when they come out. So definitely look into the Cardano robots, but they, they definitely are spelling everything out. They're not hiding anything and you want to see that transparency. So uh, I'm NFT parent on Twitter, NFT parent on YouTube. Please share the videos, retweet. Thank you so much for everybody that follows me. All the kind words, keep them coming. Let me know what you're watching. I know people are going to Miami now here real soon for the NF for some NFT and crypto.